What's going on guys, this is Angry Mill here, bringing you another gameplay commentary. Uh, this is actually a public match, I've never really uploaded public matches to my channel or on this channel. Uh, but you know, this was a special night, basically. I had two people in my house watching Netflix, so my connection was complete ass. Therefore, I couldn't really play GBs or scrims or anything without getting frustrated and almost breaking my new scuff controller, which is very awesome by the way. Um, <laughs> so you know, I tried out these new maps and they're actually pretty awesome. For once, you know, I usually do not like DLC maps at all, especially for Modern Warfare 3. This is the first time I've ever enjoyed them. This game plays on Gulch. Uh, this is a Moab on the new map. This was my first time ever playing uh, on the map pack. As you can tell by, like, you know, the first three deaths, I had no idea what I was doing. Even though, you know, the first one, I guess, was kind of not my fault because it was some douchebag just, you know, sitting in a corner like always. You know, there's always that one guy in the public match lobby that does that. I can't stand it. I don't know why people play like that. Anyways, you know, for a completely different commentary, I could talk about that for days. <laughs> um, but honestly, I really actually enjoy these maps, especially Parish. It's probably my favorite one. Just really small and a lot of fun to play and dom that's what i like in call of duty you know small fun fast paced maps that don't really promote camping like you know a lot of other large maps in Modern for three you know some of the dlc maps are pretty big as well i don't get why they even make big maps in call of duty it just makes for boring gameplay especially since you know <laughs> call of duty so kill streak based uh, i mean you know it mainly focuses on kill streaks and people just camping to build their kill streaks it really annoys me uh, how they do that, I, I think the game would be better without kill streaks. But, you know, it's just probably me. A lot of people like them. I can't stand them, to be completely honest. Especially, um, you know, with the sport kill streak package, that's just 100% retarded bullshit. Oh, it holds objective players. No, uh, it's, it's just dumb. You shouldn't be able to get, like, an EMP from, like, <laughs> you know, going 15 and 15, I guess. I think that's just really ridiculous how that works out. Um, <coughs> It just makes the assault strike package really bad. Like, you know, some people are like, oh, specialist makes you get all the kills with your guns, but no. Um, <clears throat> having all the perks in the game, like, you know, sit rep while you have dead silence and stalker. You know, you can just sound whore the crap out of everybody. Uh, stalker actually really um, messes with me. I don't really play pubs that often, but sometimes I use a specialist strike package. And um, when I have stalker, it just messes with me because I'm not used to moving that fast while I am down sight. Uh, it's, it's a pretty interesting perk though. They've never really had anything like it in Call of Duty before this game. And right here, you're gonna see me go on this nice little rock over here, since my connection was going down to like a two bar and a one bar. The theater might look a little weird here and there. I apologize for that. Theaters in Mono for Three just isn't the best thing, I guess. Uh, in my opinion, Black Ops did a lot better job of it. Uh, hopefully, they improve on that in Black Ops Two, which, by the way, I'm looking forward to a lot. I pretty much like everything about. Well, everything I've seen about the game, but you know, I liked what I was seeing about the game when Modern Warfare 3, I mean, before it came out, so you never know. I mean, you don't know how good a game is before you play it, I guess. Uh, overall, though, I've been pretty impressed <laughs> impressed by the Black Ops 2 gameplay. Sorry. Uh, by the way, for my job, I just started working nights. It sucks. I work from, like, uh, 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. It's really hard to get used to, <laughs> and that's why I'm... I haven't posted on OBHQ, I know, right? Real life sucks, it's gay, you know. Really good graphics, though. Uh, sometimes it can be enjoyable. <clears throat> and, I, no, I never mind. I don't even, I'm not even close to the Moab yet. Uh, actually, I get it in a few minutes. Like, honestly, I hate that in a new map, though. Like, that point where you're just walking around the map, you can't find anybody, you feel stupid. You're like, wow, does anybody even ever walk in this point of the map? But, you know, uh, stuff gets a little hectic pretty soon. Don't worry, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. You know, I'm using the P90 Silence. I usually don't use this gun at all, uh, but I just felt like using something different. I used it a lot in, like, Mono for 2 COD 4, but to be honest, I feel like there's a lot better SMGs than the P90 in this game. You know, um, hell, the MP7, the PP90, I even like the UMP better than the P90 in this game. The only SMG that I think is really worse than it is probably the PM9, to be honest. I think the MP5 and uh, the P90 are kind of on the same i guess tier when it comes to me i'm terrible with both of them but i actually do pretty good with the p90 in this game but you know it's a pub and moabs are usually just a result of you playing players that aren't nearly as good as you i've said this before i mean i don't think like i'm awesome for getting moabs or anything that's why i usually don't put up public matches uh i've only put up one public match ever on my channel actually two one was a live com that i took down um because i didn't get a moab so it wasn't a good enough gameplay uh, I hate gameplay standards on YouTube. You know, maybe I'll talk about that in the commentary sometime. Uh, and right around here is where I get the Moab. You guys will see it. Make a silly mistake. 
I kill that guy, you know. <clears throat> Some guy came up behind him, picked up the dog tag, you know, denied the kill. I should have known he was there, but I still got the Moab. I managed to kill a dude before he shot me in the ass, which was really good. I would have been really upset if I didn't get that. I mean, as I said before, I really don't care about Moabs or anything like that. But dying, like, one or two away from one is just the biggest tease in the world, and I get pretty upset about it. <laughs> and right here, you know, theater... Just being theater in this game, sh saying that I'm shooting the wall when realistically I was shooting that dude the whole time. Uh, pretty much that's the Moab, and uh, you know, there's only like 30 seconds left in this gameplay. I only got three kills with the Moab, though. I was, I was a little upset about that, but hey, it was whatever, I guess. You know, I did kill that one dude with my P90. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're looking forward to some more um, <clears throat> videos from the unique personalities on ObeyHQ. Like the video, comment, subscribe if you're not already to this channel. Bye. I love you all.